One thing I was reading the other day was just the hope of eternal. We think so much on earth and the stuff that's happening here, our focus is so much here because it's just kind of everything's pulling at our attention here on earth right now in the craziness of earth. So I'm trying to switch that thinking a little bit for me and think more on the eternal. Let me think on the eternal. Let me think of what's waiting. And for those that are fresh in grief, that have lost especially, that's a hard thing to do. But if somehow you can switch that and think of the eternal, to think uh, this kind of thought brought life to me when I thought that that Trent and I, even in our friendship, are still very much connected. He is very mm -hmm. much alive. He is not dead. He is right. alive and he is living life to the fullest. And we are still connected. He is a part of the body of Christ. And I'm just down here, part of the body of Christ. So he's living a full life there, serving, living, connected. And I'm here. That veil is so yes. very, very thin. Yes. So you've got to kind of grab a hold of that thought, reality, and truth to know that there's so much waiting. So I think about heaven more than I used to. And I'm encouraged to know too that, you know, you might feel numb. You might feel completely hopeless, hopeless, but you cannot interpret your numbness as God's absence in your life. Never yes. is Jesus absent from your life, from your circumstances. Mm -hmm. Never is he not speaking. Never is he not present. I'll be with you wherever, forever. And whenever he is always mm. in it with us, he knows every single detail of your life. He knows the prayers you pray. Now you, you don't have to keep every day. Like I've learned that I don't have to keep praying the same thing every single day. I can pray it, but now I have to walk it in faith and believe it every day. Like wake up and declare it in the name of Jesus. I am believing yeah. for wholeness in my life, God. I'm believing for restoration in my life. I'm believing that you'll put the pieces of my life back together again, that you'll turn these ashes into beauty. I'm believing these and declaring this over my life. So many times it's easier for us just to, to sit in the other and just to, oh, I'm missing out and I'm angry and I'm mad and we have every right to probably have those feelings, but somehow you have to turn that around at some point and say, in the name of Jesus, I want to feel life. I have so much waiting for me, the promises of God. And even though I feel numb does not mean that you are not present in my life, God. Amen. We have to believe the promises of God and that he comes mm. to heal, to mend, mm. to bring increase into your life, not to take from you, to, but to bring increase into your life. So I pray I pray that you feel covered, that you feel surrounded yes. in comfort, mm -hmm. that only Jesus could bring to your life today, that you just Amen. breathe in a little differently and trust that God, God will bring this to fruition in your life in healing, healing, yes. healing ways for you. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen.